All right, guys, welcome to video blog number 003. You know, I'm getting really tired of Dan Dan the cameraman and a few other select people saying that I don't have enough of my personality in these videos that when I do them, I'm not relaxed and I'm, you know, so um, uh, professional. I'll use that word. <laughs> That's probably not the word that they use. But I'm going to try to loosen up a little bit, put a little bit of my normal personality in it. This uh, may cause some people some grief because... Uh, that means my filter's probably not engaged as much as it should be. But I want to make sure and uh, make them is uh, uh, you know I want to make I want to make sure that we feel like that we are friends, uh, that you feel comfortable with what we're doing here. And uh, so I'm gonna lighten up a little bit and just bring a, a little bit more of my natural uh, personality <laughs> into the into the videos. I'm also tired of these Canucks. There's a couple Canucks that uh, we've trained some dogs for that uh, one of them called today and say I look very tired on my videos. Uh, well, I'm going to try to get some rest so I don't look so tired. Uh, we have been working a lot, been traveling a lot. i got to go to North Carolina uh, next week. i got to go to Slovakia. Um, where else is coming up? I just got an email to go to Chicago, certify some dogs. Where else? Uh, New Orleans. And, and so the travels and everything else, you know, we're going to try to make sure that I get my rest, that I look, uh, you know, halfway awake when I'm doing these videos. So this video, uh, and with all of our videos, I want to make sure that you all have the understanding that what I'm trying to do is try to generalize them as much as I possibly can to reflect dog training. So that whether you have a pet dog or a police dog or a detection dog for bomb narcotics, bed bugs, cell phones, uh, E. coli, salmonella, whatever it is, that you're going to get something from watching these blogs. Now, some of these things sometimes is going to be pretty tough, but I'm going to really try to do my best that every time we put one together that somebody watching this, no matter what you're doing with your dog, you can get something out of it. In this case, however, we're going to have to talk about the distractions and the things that are uh, inherent in training detection dogs. Uh, one of the things, and we're going to use uh, bed bug dogs, here's my vial. It, you got the bed bug vial that we use for a training game. Now, if you have a narcotics dog, sometimes you put narcotics in a plastic bag or it's packaged already with a pla plastic packaging which gets twisted up and burned at one end. So you get that plastic smell that's always uh, or often uh, um, joined with the narcotics odor. Uh, this has to do with you know powdered substances like uh, speed or cocaine or even pills like ecstasy. Uh, in an in a explosive detection dog, you also got the containers that they are all commonly housed with, which also can be plastic bags, it can be jars, it can be um, uh, Tupperware, whatever the case is. Always, when you're training a detection dog, these additional odors that are with our training aids are a constant. So what do you do? How do you train your dog not to find plastic bags or Tupperware or the other items? In bed bugs, there's often a cardboard that if you can see inside here, probably not, uh, inside along with that little live bed bug that keeps crawling around there, but there's some cardboard or a piece of paper. There's the netting that is keeping them from getting out. But there's the plastic cap and of course the container and the human odor from my hands touching it. Real quick, I'm going to show you a video of some distraction training. It's going to go by pretty quickly. I'm not going to go into great detail because, um, I, again, I don't want these to be really long. I just want to start giving you some ideas of some of the things you can do. But what you need to do is you need to use uh, similar items, put your distractors inside of them, and train your dog to ignore them. At some point, you're going to take the distractors and put them on the outside that are kind of on the ground around where you're searching. So the dog not only has to ignore them as they smell them, but also as they walk around and over them. At some point, with a, a toy reward dog, you might want to bounce the tennis ball or get a bucket of tennis balls and pour it over your dog's head while they're searching, which we do in our training. If you cannot take your dog into an environment because of the distractions, because of the uh, litter box, or because of uh, um, you know the, the treats and the toys and stuff that are in the house because of the dog that lives there, uh, you have big problems. You won't be able to go out there and search effectively. Nobody said the detection dog training, maintenance training, and work was easy. You're going to have to work at it, and you're going to have to go out and find opportunities to train through these distractions and do it. If you don't do it on a regular basis, you're going to be very, very frustrated. All right, so make sure and do these things. So watch this video of an exercise we did. I'm not going to narrate or anything like that, but I'm going to show you all the different substances we have inside of the buckets and the dog uh, doing the um, distraction training. And then maybe at the end of that, we may even include a little search of a dog searching a house. All right, so do your distraction training. Make sure you get it done. I'm going to work on my personality. I'm going to make sure that I'm a little bit happier when I'm doing these things. And um, more of my, uh, my natural uh, Andy is included. 
Uh, some of you may be repelled and never watch again. Some of you may enjoy it. Who knows? But uh, I'm going to make sure to liven these things up a little bit. All right. So watch this video. Hope you learn from it. We will talk to you in our next video blog. Take care. Talk to you later. Dead, dead bed books and vials. Plastic bag, cotton balls. This is our target with the live bed bugs. There's one in there somewhere. There they are. The colony of uh, bugs are. There's three of them. And one dead one. A wubby. Rubber gloves. Another toy. That's one of those sheepskin toys. Lots of exoskeletons. More vials with dead bed bugs. A piece of tennis ball. Her dog food that she eats. And a rubber ball. And just the vials with the cardboard, which is the one that she probably had the biggest problem with. The other ones are mere distractors in the sense that she wants them. But as far as the trained odor, this is part of the trained odor. Good girl. Back in the corner back here. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Big difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get, that's what you gotta see.